Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I'm coming to you from my flat in Città della Pieve, Italy. I have been focusing on watercolor sketching and plain air paper painting this week and I've gotten a lot of comments about my watercolors and so I thought I would make a two-part series tutorial tidbits on watercolor sketching and the uh, water brushes as well as the portable sets that I use for travel. So we're going to do this in two parts. Um, this week I am going to demonstrate the uh, the qualities that I prefer of the two boxes that I have with me and I'm also going to demonstrate how the uh, water brushes work. And then next week we will get into the watercolor sketching of these beautiful vegetables that I managed to get on my own with Google Translate, some simple sentences in Italian and some pointing. So these came from the local farmers market. They're very colorful and I chose them just for this tutorial. Um, I will eventually eat them, but uh, I chose them to paint. So um, bear with the audio quality. Uh, this flat is all brick and uh, plaster, so it's a little echoey. The floors are brick, the ceilings and the walls are plaster. Um, so it's a little echoey, but I think that you'll still get the gist of the information. Um, I uh, had to shut off the recording earlier because there was a horse going down the alley in the back with a man on it and clickety-clacking down the street. So. Anyway, you never know what's going to happen here in Italy. So let's start with the products and the brushes and then next week we'll go into the sketching and the watercoloring. Welcome back. So this week I'm going to demonstrate how the water brushes work and the uh, two boxes of color that I like to use. Um, the first one is the uh, Koi uh, Field Box by Sakura. Um, both of these are on my Amazon listing. Uh, but this one I really like. It's the Pocket Field Sketch Box by Koi and it has a ring on the back so that you can um, sort of hold it. Let me get it going here. Hold it in one hand. Um, put the ring on your palm and you can sort of, you can hold the box in one hand. Also what I like about it is that the, um, the uh, blending area is large. So you have the lid and you have this, which comes out and will click into the side like this. So you can blend over here, in here, and back there. Um, also, it has uh, two sponges on the side for wiping your brush off. Um, you can wipe it clean on the sponge sides and then those come out and you can run them under the kitchen sink and sort of squeeze them out and get them a little cleaner. Um, so that's nice. There's two of them. They come out and they can be washed. Um, and I also like the way you can hold it in your hand and it has a lot of blending area. Um, this is a nice quality box and both of these are going to be on my Amazon list. The link is below the video. So the second one is um, the uh, Artsy set. Uh, it's, I think it's about 12 or $15, which initially, uh, I was sort of skeptical about it, but the pigment color is amazing. So all these beautiful pigments are very rich and luxurious. Uh, they are very bright and vibrant and, um, they have little indicators on the bottom of each strip as to the color that you're getting in that strip. Cause sometimes it's hard to tell when they're dark. Uh, the, Sponge here for drying uh, does not come off. So in terms of rinsing it out, that's a little more challenging. And as far as the blending area, you have this um, strip and that, but that's sort of it for blending. So that can be a little tricky when you're um, working on the go. Although I do love this box for, um, or this setup for working at the kitchen table because I can blend here and um, I can use paper towel to wipe my brush off on. And so it's a, it's the, the color of this are really why I, I like it. Um, it's a little hard to get to the colors that are up in the corners of this fan system, so it's kind of hard to reach those colors. Uh, so it's not as um, as portably, uh, if that's a word, it's not as functional in a portable way as the Koi uh, box by Sakura. But like I said, I do like using it at the kitchen table because the pigments were actually sourced in Italy and um, they're excellent quality pigments. So. The water brush, okay, um, when the water brush first came out, it's now available in three different nibs. So basically the barrel of the brush is filled with water and the 
Um, nibs, basically when they first came out, were just this nice cylindrical pointed nib. Now you can buy them in all kinds of different nibs. Um, you can get uh, angled flats and flats and wide ones and very fine ones. So I've got three examples for you here. This one is the very, very fine point and um, this one is the flat point. So that's a more of a straight flat. So I've got a straight flat, a, a medium to large point, and a fine point. But you can buy them now in lots of different points, which is kind of fun. But there's only so many of them you can take with you when you're traveling. Um, I put all of this set up when I'm traveling in one gallon Ziploc bag. Um, so uh, that, that does keep it portable. So the brush barrel, so the top screws off and then the brush barrel fills with water. So I'll either take a little plastic container and bend it and pour it in there, which I'm not going to do because this is a little pink and this is already full. Um, so when you're on the go, you can pour it from a water bottle um, or you can put it right under the sink and just sort of let the faucet dribble to fill it up. So if you have a water bottle in your bag, you can use that or you can fill it at home with the faucet. So the barrel fills all the way with water, the nib screws back on, and the barrel is made of flexible plastic, so when you squeeze it, the water comes through and drips out. And that is what you're going to do to clean it. So when it gets um, full of paint, you're going to squeeze water through and clean it off onto these sponges when you're on the go, or you might want to squeeze through and put it off onto a paper towel when you're sitting at the kitchen table. And as you flush it through with clean water, it presses all the color out and then you wipe it off and you're good to start over. So that is also the way that you get the um, color set up. You squeeze water through the pen right directly into, or through the brush, right like directly into the color. I don't know why that's not working. I guess this one is empty. So, all right. So you squeeze through the brush and you drop water down into the color and then when you blend it activates the watercolor and you can come over here with your thin nib and make very thin fine lines and I'm not squeezing as I'm painting this so I'm not applying any extra water. When I do squeeze as I paint then I get more water that comes through and I can get real watery lines and I can apply more or less pressure with my squeezing of the water through the nib. So I get two different effects whether I squeeze or I don't squeeze as I'm brushing. Um, when I'm at the kitchen table, I will rinse in a cup of water, but I'm, if I'm on an airplane or I'm outdoors um, sitting on a stoop to paint a flower box across the way, I'm not going to have a cup of water. So I'm going to squeeze water through to clean it and wipe it off on the sponge, and I'm going to squeeze water through to dampen the watercolors themselves. So here's the wider nib which makes a, I'm not squeezing right now, so it makes a, it makes a nice crisp wide edge. And then when I squeeze it, I'll get more water that will come through. This one doesn't have any water in it. Who's in charge of filling the brushes? So um, there's that one. And then the next one I will, uh, let's do some blue. So I'll squeeze water through it, activate the blue, here is me not squeezing. This is the, uh, the other tip. And then I'm gonna squeeze more water through and here is me squeezing as I brush. So now I get this big watery effect as I brush. And the cool thing about watercolors is that you can um, go back over them and reactivate them. So when I come over here and blend again, I'm lifting up what I put down and I can add blue to it as a layer. They're translucent, so now I can multiply my colors and with a lot of water, they'll become very flowy. So that is the watercolor brushes. Uh, the barrels fill with water and you can use them on the go without a cup of water at all. I usually like to travel with several good paper towels so that I can clean them out really well at the end of my painting session by squeezing water through and wiping it off. So now I'm clean and clear water. Um, these are my favorite tools and they're what I've been using for watercolor sketching this week. And next week we're going to get into the demo of actually sketching and painting some vegetables.